Okay, so to review our exponent stuff, we're, we're solving equations today that are going to kind of look like this. x squared times x to the a is equal to x to the 12th, for instance. Okay, we're just going to get into some pretty complicated ones that are kind of like this. Well, to really understand that, you really got to get your exponent rules. So let's say I had this, x squared, x to the 5th. What's the answer? False. x to the 7th. Okay, good. And let's say I change this to a plus in there. Then you can't put them together, can you? No, because they're not like terms. You know, they have to both be x squared to be able to add them together. All right, so if it's, how about if it's a uh, divide? What would that be? X to the negative third is correct. All right, some of you are distracted by your iPads. Unless you're writing these things, please be where I am. Otherwise, I will take that thing away from you so fast. All right, next, uh, if I'm going to change this into a positive exponent, what would that need to be? Yes, sir. Good. Yes. Oh, you're thinking of solving it, like to get rid of it or something. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying, how could I rewrite that so x to the negative third is actually a positive exponent? Yes, sir, in the back. In the black shirt. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I do know you. I just don't want to say your name in the video. That's all. Okay. 1 over x to the third. Excellent. Okay, so when you have a negative exponent, notice it does not make the answer negative. There's no negative in there. It just puts 1 over your answer. So you had problems like this, 8 to the negative 2 thirds, for instance. Do you remember how we broke that up? I'll do one, and then I want you to do one. So watch this. 8 to the 1 third to the second to the negative 1. There's three parts. There's the root, there's the normal part, and the last thing I do is the negative, because that's a negative 1 that's like a flip. And that's going to make it 1 over what it would have been. Now let's actually figure it out. What's that? 2. 2 squared is? And then you do that? 1 fourth. All right, I want you to try one of those. Ready? Here we go. 125 to the uh, negative 3 halves power. That's not going to work so good. Why? Because this is the root part, right? And I'm supposed to be taking a square root of 125. Eh, I don't know what that is. Okay, so how about we make it the other way around? I, it was weird. I was thinking it right, but then I wrote it. No, there we go. Try that. That one's doable. Break it in three parts. 1 part makes it smaller. 1 part makes it bigger. Always make it smaller before you make it bigger. I want you to billboard your answer to me. Yes, your final answer. Thank you. Keep, just leave it on your desk. Turn towards me. That way it'll be really obvious who has not answered yet. I've seen almost all right answers. Not all right answers, unfortunately. Okay, you split it up, but they actually get the answer. That's good to split it up first, but then you have to actually get the answer. Okay, good. Let's keep it pointed towards me. I'll keep you from being tempted to go chat again. It's not chatting. Don't know what to do. What? Oh, I, I understand that, but do you know what to do? Okay. Get with us quickly. All right. I'm... All right, almost everybody had it, and then some of you that didn't have it right figured it out. Okay. There you go. Still waiting for the back corner. Okay. All right. I, as long as you're with me and trying, then we're okay. All right, you should have this. 125 to the one-third to the second to the negative one. That's how you start. Then the first part is this. Uh, the third root of 125 is 5, then you square it, 25, then you flip it, 1 over 25. Okay. Now let's try this kind. x to the second times x to the a is equal to x to the 12. 
First thing you got to do is put these guys together. What do they make? X to the 2 plus A. Very good. Equals X to 12. Next thing. Do you remember what happens when the bases are the same as each other? They can cancel. And then what do you get for an answer? 2 plus A equals 12, and therefore A equals 12. Get that? All right. This is probably the more difficult kind. Say you have a 3, X to the to the one-third like this uh, is equal to two. All right. When you're solving equations, you're trying to get the variable alone. The first step on trying to get the variable alone is you need to get the power off of there. This one's nice because I can just go right to that because this is already isolated. We got this alone, then we can get rid of this. All right, let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say I had this, 3x to the 1 half plus 7 is equal to 12. Do you get why I cannot square things right away? What do I, what do I have to do first? Drag 7, very good, because this isn't alone yet. Once it's alone, then I can square everything. But if I try to square it the way it is, it is ugly. You have to take this whole thing times itself to square it. So then technically you'd have to do this, 3x to the 1 half plus 7 times 3x to the 1 half plus 7. And you have to do first, outside, inside, last. This is first, this is outside, this is inside, this is last. It's way complicated. See why I want to just get rid of the 7 first? All right, because i got to get this thing isolated. Then I can square 7 is on the line. Then I get 3x to the 1 half is equal to 12 and 5. Now what do I got to do both sides? To the second. Not just the 5 to the second. Both sides to the second. Then these will cancel. 3x equals 25. And now what? I bet you. X equals 25 thirds. Yes. All right. So here's another one. 8x third plus 5 is equal to 13. Try that. On your own. Next step, get rid of the 3. Put it to the what? 8x is equal to, what's 8 to 1? 2. Divide by 8, x equals 2 eighths. Got to reduce it. x equals 1 fourth. Raise your hand if you had that one right. Okay, good. I think you know what to do. This is what it's about. And uh, the assignment is posted there. If you need help, come ask. Basically, you got a bunch of work time right now. That does not mean go watch a bunch of videos. That means get to work right now. You okay, need help, ask me for help. Yes. Okay. So let's say it's to the five thirds. Let's say it was three to the, no, let's say it's eight to the five thirds. And my first thought is I'm going to break that up into two parts. There's only two parts to this. There's no negative. If there was negative, then it's going to be three parts. But there's two parts the red part and the other part. So you get 8 to the 1 third to the 5th. And then that's what? Two, and then 2 to the 5th is 32. Okay? Alright. 